Your low back is uh, one of the most important things that you can learn how to control in weightlifting. Uh, one of the things that we have become aware of teaching our seminars to lots and lots of people over the past four years is that a lot of people, maybe you, do not know how to control the position of your lumbar spine. And, uh, oh, we'll have a, a room full of, say, 25 people on a weekend, and there are always four people in the room, three or four people in the room, that have no idea how to arch their lower back. And arching the low back is the term that I'm going to use today for a concentric, active lumbar extension. And it ought to look like this. You ought to be able to do that whenever you need to. When you can do this voluntarily, then you have control of the muscles of the lumbar spine, the spinal erector muscles that lie along either side of the spine and that control the lumbar position. One of the things that we find is that when a person cannot control the lumbar position, when they are unable to perform this voluntary concentric contraction, that that person has no concept of what position their spine is in. And I'll show you here in just a second. We're going we're to use a, a, a demonstrator here and, and show you exactly what goes on. But it is a lack of kinesthetic awareness of the position of the spine. We'll have people that can't do this. What I'll do, in fact, I'll go through the room and uh, I'll check everyone's low back for the specific ability to do that, that low back arch. We don't even check the women. Women all know how to do this. I've never seen a female that couldn't do it. One of the problems with females is usually, uh, if we have a low back problem with females, a lot of times it is uh, a tendency to overextend some places in the spine. It's, for females, it's not typically a lack of, of, of awareness of that position. They're all very aware of that position. That's a normal female posture. And so I don't even check the females anymore because I've never seen it occur in a female. But four of the guys in a room full of 25 people are going to not be able to control the position of their lower back. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll find a person, I'll tell you, I'll, give several cues for the person's low back to go into that arch position. I've got several ways I can, I can cue this. And what we'll find is, is that the, uh, the guy will not be able to voluntarily control that group of muscles. Now, the reason this is important is because lumbar flexion under a load is generally the way most people fail in the bottom of the squat and the deadlift. A failure to control the lumbar spine such that it goes into flexion is the most common problem with back position. Now granted, occasionally you see overextension, but it's not nearly as common a problem, especially in novice lifters, as a failure to control the spine which results in lumbar flexion under a load. So, what we have found is that if a person can produce concentric extension of the spine like that, then that voluntary concentric control of the low back position is an extremely good indicator of their ability to hold the low back in isometric extension. If you can't control your low back, if you don't know what position the low back's in, and you don't know how to squeeze those muscles tight. When you get into the bottom of the deadlift of the squat and the hamstring tension from the inferior aspect of the pelvis is competing for control of the low back, you will fail. You will lose. There is a war going on between the hamstrings and the low back for control of the pelvis and the low back has to win. And in order for the low back to win, you have to be able to voluntarily control the concentric contraction of those muscles in the lower back. Let's show you how we do this. Zach Evans is going to help us today. Zach is, uh, we don't want to just see your butt, Zach. Here, turn around. There's Zach. Now, 
This is the low back. Okay, I'm going to pull the slack out of Zach's shirt. Now, Zach, I want you to arch the low back. And this is what we'll see when, when this happens correctly. Do it again. Relax. Notice this position. This curve increases. This curve increases. Relax. You can also think of it as a pelvic tilt. Now, a pelvic tilt, an anterior pelvic tilt, would be marked at the top. So the superior, the top part of the pelvis, would tilt anterior. Squeeze that and you can see, relax, squeeze it again, and that's an anterior pelvic tilt. Lower back muscles control this position. Okay? Now, a lot of times what we'll run into when we have these, these large groups of people, when we find somebody that can't control the low back position, is that I will put my hand on the back like this to cue these, these two muscle bellies right here, the spinal erector bellies, and I will say arch the low back and I will demonstrate it by, by doing this. This is what I want you to do and then I'll put my hands back here and I'll cue the muscle bellies and a person that cannot control this set of muscles down here will do something else. They might do this, do that again, they might move the thoracic spine instead of the lumbar spine. They might not move the spine at all. They might just lean back, stick the butt back, or lean back like that. But the movement will take place somewhere besides where I want it to occur, which is right here in the lumbar spine. Do it again correctly. Good. We have a little cue that we use for this. I'm going to whisper it because it's, a, it's, it's, it's indelicate. Sometimes I'll say to the guys, I'll say, I want you to drop your dick down in between your knees. And that usually, that usually trips the trigger, that usually turns the right, produces the right uh, visual effect. And a lot of times, in fact, I don't think I've ever had that fail. It actually works pretty well. So this tilt is what we want to find. Okay? Now, we will occasionally find a hard case. Okay? We're going to find a hard case. Now, Zach's not a hard case, but a lot of times we will find younger guys especially that are kind of not good with their bodies, that have no idea how to control all the muscles in their body. And a lot of these cues will not work. A lot of the, the tactile cueing that we normally use, me demonstrating the arched low back, won't work. So in an emergency, this is what we'll do. Lay down the belly. What we'll do is this. Put your hands behind your head. What we're going to do is cause these muscles to go into contraction. And we're going to use a movement that's not, that doesn't, that's not really requiring a whole lot of, uh, of, uh, of uh, just voluntary ability to control those muscles in isolation. We're going, to, we're going to tell him to do a movement that will cause these muscles to go into contraction, whether he wants them to or not. Okay? And what I normally do will, 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 will be the following. Raise your chest and your elbows up off the ground. Alright? That is the thoracic spine moving. Relax. That's not what I want to occur. Just relax this and lay this down. I want you to pick your knees up. Just exactly like that. Now sometimes when a person does that, lay back down, sometimes a person will attempt to leave their toes on the ground and raise their knees up like a bridge. See, that's not what we're talking about there. What we want you to do is keep the knees straight and raise the knees up off of the ground. Just exactly like that. Now, relax. If you're doing that movement, raising the knees up in the air, the lumbar spinal muscles go into contraction whether you want them to or not. So what we'll do is a set of 10 of the squeeze up and just hold those for about a second and set them back down. A set of 10 will put some lactate in these two muscle bellies on either side of the spine in those lumbar erectors. Okay? The movement that causes the lactate is what we want to is what we want you to do when you're standing up. So we're going to do this, and we're going to establish a motor pathway by using this knee movement. 
And when that gets done, now you can feel these muscle belly, can't you, Zach? Absolutely. Stand up. Stand the kid up and immediately say, now, do the same movement that you just did on the ground. And 90% of the time, that fixes the problem. Occasionally there is a physical idiot that this doesn't work on and then we have to use further steps and beatings and things like that to make the thing work. But most of the time that will fix the problem. Okay? Thanks to Zach for helping us here. If this is you, if you are one of these guys that cannot produce this lumbar arch, this voluntary concentric lumbar arch, learn to do it. It's an extremely important part of your training and it will protect your back. It may very well be the most important thing you ever learn from me because if this keeps you from having a back injury, then it will have served a pretty damn good purpose. Thanks.